Xiaomi has finally completed the Redmi Note 9 series, starting from the Redmi Note 9S, the Redmi Note 9, and of course right now, in our hands, the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So what makes it stand out from the rest of the gang? We'll find out. Right now, we're going to unbox the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Hi, I'm Mitch002 for Xiaomi Review. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. We can see on the box outside, it's pretty much the same as that from the Redmi Note 9S. And of course, the 9 Pro. The design of the box is very, very simple. Just plain white box. And it has the print on the side, Redmi Note 9 Pro with easy access to the Google apps you use the most. Simple, hey? We are going to call on our trusty blade. So we'll cut it open, simply like slicing it, dicing it, and finally cutting open the third corner. Voila, it's open. Taking the box out of the box, we can simply see that there's another small box inside the box where it simply hosts the SIM ejector tool, your user guide, and your warranty card, your smoke black jelly case. Well, I like the way this is embossed. It pretty much protects your camera from any damages on the protruded camera. Who says that humans only need face masks? Xiaomi even protected the USB Type-C from virus entering your phone. Nice move from Redmi. Taking the phone out from the box, you can see the color is pretty much nice. Shiny back. And before all that, we'll take a look on what's left inside the box. We have here the USB Type-C cable. You can see that the USB Type-C is color orange. I'm just surprised that it's the new color or probably the new norm from Redmi. Are they setting a new tone? I don't know, maybe. And of course, your 30 watts charging brick. So that's all from the box, nothing else. We can see here on the, we can see here on the plastic cover that it says that it's a Redmi Note 9 Pro. It has 64 AI quad camera, 30 watts fast charging capability, Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G, and a 6.67 FHD Plus dot drop display to pretty much round out the specs of the phone. So right now we have the 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gig of storage, interstellar gray variant. And did you know the Redmi Note 9 Pro comes in three colors, interstellar gray, Glacier White, and Tropical Green. So before I continue talking, let me first peel off the film from the Note 9 Pro. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, we're down to the back. Slowly. Oh. Oh. It's so shiny. Looks nice. Hey. Doesn't this look familiar? It pretty much looks like my Redmi Note 9S, which I unboxed a couple of weeks ago. Putting them side by side, they look pretty much identical. Makes me think that they're from the same mother. Only one is more intelligent. Don't you think? So now, let me give you a quick tour around the phone. Underneath, we have the audio jack, USB Type-C port, microphone in, and of course, your loud speaker. On the other side, we have the power button or AKA fingerprint scanner. Then of course, your volume rocker. Let us now check the response of the fingerprint scanner. Well, for me, it's pretty fast and pretty, pretty responsive. On top, we have the IR Blaster 
and of course your noise cancellation mic and on the other side we have the sim tray which can host two nano sims and one micro sd expansion at the back we have the four cameras which like i said pretty looks the same as that from the redmi note 9s but of course there is some difference that's why it's the pro brother now let me tell you it has a 64 mp wide lens which is way better from the redmi note 9s the rest are the same the 8 mp ultra wide lens the 5 mp macro lens and of course your 2 mp depth sensor then underneath we have the 64 mp markings plus the led flash and of course your redmi logo up front we have the 16 mp front shooter dot drop display which is similar to that of the 9s now this phone is pretty much protected why it has the corning gorilla glass 5 front protection also the corning gorilla glass 5 back protection and it has plastic frames which pretty much rounds out the outer appearance of the phone it then has the 6.67 ips lcd 1080p display which is very very cool on the eye i tried using this under direct sunlight i have no problem with it watching video is a breeze probably except for that punch hole on the screen upon swiping left and right on my phone i can tell you that it's very very responsive as expected redmi packs in the snapdragon 720g which is a gaming processor on this phone coupled with the 5020 milliampere hours battery which supports up to 30 watts of fast charging it's really really amazing now we drain our phone down to 19 percent and charge it all the way to 100 percent it took us an hour and 13 minutes with the default cable and the default charger supplied out of the box now we were able to last a whole day without even hitting the charging dock at the end of the day upon normal usage i still have roughly 35 percent of battery inside this phone now looking at the drm info this phone has a wideband security level of level one which means you can watch hd video on netflix nice feature hey now we move on to the benchmark antutu gave it a 272,000 points which is quite impressive at par with the note 9s breaking down the cpu has a near 100,000 points gpu 71,000 points memory 48 and your ux is 53 moving on to geekbench this phone was able to score single core points of 567 multi-core 1693 3d mark it gave it at 2481 points which for me is okay we just have to check it out on the gaming review later on this phone moving on to our next benchmark we have the i22 benchmark here giving it 163,000 points with an accuracy of 22,000 points not not bad right now we're entering the game turbo mode inside the security app wherein we can play our two favorite games mobile legends and call of duty opening the call of duty we can see that we can unlock the max frame rate and of course very high graphic quality gameplay is very very nice on this unit and i can say that it's very very responsive i don't even see any frame drops as i expected moving on to mobile legend we can unlock hfr mode with an ultra settings which is again pretty much expected gameplay is very smooth i like the way that it renders the game and i have no problem with a big display like this i enjoy the way that i punish my enemy here at mobile legend now i can tell you that the sound is pretty great it was able to give me a very very immersive experience while playing the game unlike from the redmi note 9 which is a little bit weaker based on my ears everybody is entering the new norm right now everything has to be done online even meetings 
During physical meetings, we prepare ourselves, dressing up properly, making up our face, and of course, having to sit prim and proper at the conference table. But right now, everything is done on Zoom. Did you know that there are proper etiquettes in having online meetings? The same as the physical meeting inside the conference room. Now let me ask you, how can you show up yourself with a crappy camera from your phone? Of course, I know not everybody can afford a laptop, but probably everybody can buy a decent phone. That's why I recommend the Redmi Note 9 Pro. It has a 16 MP wide selfie lens, which can really, really record a very, very nice video, especially when you're on a Zoom meeting. To be honest with you, I wouldn't show up on a Zoom meeting having a 2 MP front shooter. Not me. I tend to look more handsome, more decent, and more professional here on the 16 MP camera of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Now let me show you. Hi, I'm Richmond of Xiaomi Review. And I'm Janos of Pedro Attack Dad. And I'm Chris from Crisis Point. Nice to meet you all. Hi, I'm Richmond of Xiaomi Review. And I'm Janos of Pedro Attack Dad. And I'm Chris from Crisis Point. Hey, you in. Now, would you rather appear as a Forrest Gump or as a Forrest Dump? As an Adam Levine or as an Adam Levine? It's all up to you. Now, for my favorite section, the camera. To be honest with you, this phone was able to hand me over some good photos outdoors and it really shows having a 64 MP was always better than the 48 MP. The 64 MP camera on this phone gives it a bit more definition compared to the 48 MP. It was able to perform better, take more better pictures, take better videos. Now taking some indoor shots, I was able to capture some good photos inside the mall wherein there is nobody and empty during the enhanced community quarantine. Now, taking some night shot, this one, I'm really impressed. From my naked eye, this scene is pretty, pretty dark. But the Redmi Note 9 Pro was able to enhance it, giving it more definition and more dramatic effect on this photo. Check it out. Now, checking the selfie camera, I know it pays to have a good selfie camera. It makes you look good feel good and more handsome just like me now checking the video quality taken from the rear camera i can see that the 64 mp camera took better video compared to the 48 version upon activating the 4k 30 fps recording i can see that the video tends to pop up the colors better than the 48 version but it tends to be a little bit jittery since it has no image stabilization on the setting menu. Checking the front video, it is pretty, pretty decent. Though that at times it can be overexposed due to the light at the background, but it can still take good, good video. You can even use this as a basic vlogging device. Now, I've given you probably every single spec that you want to know about the Redmi Note 9 Pro. What's not to love about this phone? The basic upgrade of this phone compared to its 9S sibling is the 64 MP camera, the 30 watts fast charging, and of course the NFC that is embedded inside this phone. So, do you think the additional 2000 peso is worth the upgrade? What do you think? Sound off below on the comment section to let me know what you think of the price. Overall, the Redmi Note 9 Pro is a really, really decent phone. It is really, really nice. Now, what I really, really like about the Redmi Note 9 Pro is the grip on my hands. It's just right. It doesn't feel too big or too small on my hands, especially the camera bump. For many gamers, it doesn't really matter. But for me, the camera bump is just placed pretty much ergonomically by Redmi. So it won't protrude my fingers while I'm playing. So what do you think of this video? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future reviews. And also don't forget to check out Sulitech Reviews and Pinoy Tech Dad for their take on this awesome 
mid-ranger. So I'm Mitch002 for Xiaomi Review. I leave you hanging for my next review, the Mi Note 10 Lite. Expect another awesome blast review only here at Xiaomi Review. Catch you later.